LeBron James is considered the best player to have ever come out of the state of Ohio, while former Roth High School star Dwight Anderson is widely considered the best player to have ever come out of Dayton. His story is now a short film. Hutch Connerman talks with the man who brings the blur into focus. John Wall comes out of the locker room and I'm standing next to the general manager for the Wizards and I said, it must be nice to have the second fastest guy to play at Kentucky. He said, second? What are you talking about? And then their coach, Randy Whitman, who played for Indiana, he comes out of the locker room. I said, Randy, who was the fastest guy to play to Kentucky? He said, Dwight Anderson. I mean, everybody should know that. And because everyone should know that, Cleveland sports writer Branson Wright embarked on an eight-year journey. It all started as part of a conversation with former UD Flyer and Cleveland Cavalier, Cedric Tony. I said to Cedric, I said, you know, I've heard a lot about this, this, this Dwight Anderson. I said, was he that good? And he says, come, come with me. We walk up, uh, he introduces me to Isaiah Thomas. He said, Isaiah, tell him about Dwight. Dwight Anderson was the, the Michael Jordan of all era. Takes me over to Mark Aguirre. Hey, Mark, tell him about Dwight. He was the best player in, in, in the gym. Then Dominique Wilkins. Had unbelievable speed and talent. At that point, I said, you know, let me uh, start doing some video, start interviewing these guys, and, and, try to, and try to put this together. Of course, with every project, there are challenges. No money. <laughs> no, absolutely the money. Wright's creative solution, a GoFundMe page. The GoFundMe serves two purposes. One, to, to raise the money uh, for us to complete the film and, and the publicity. His nickname was The Blur. And now, thanks to Wright's documentary, his story has resolution. I hope it's encouraging to people that you know, despite having it all and, and falling, but somebody standing up again. Uh, he, he would have had an impact as a player, uh, but, but the fact that he never did get to play, and if you look at the course of his life and what he's overcome, I think that can also have as big an impact as it would have been if he would have played. This summer, Branson Wright plans to premiere the documentary here in Dayton. Hutch Connerman, Two Sports. Now, for more information or to watch the trailer of The Blur, the Dwight Anderson story, you can check out the GoFundMe page. Just search The Blur or Dwight Anderson.